everyone. Selamat pagi. Apa khabar? How are you? My name is Abby Zain. I'm a visual artist, an educator, illustrator, and also a writer. So today, I've got something special for you because today I'm going to show you how to make a tapir. Do you know what a tapir is? So we're going to make a tapir plush. This is your tapir. Okay, um, a tapir is actually an animal which lives in the rainforest in Malaysia, in Southeast Asia, it is black and white. So what I did here was actually to, to cut the felt material uh, with the shape of the tapir. Okay, um, why I did this is actually to help to create awareness among Malaysians and all over the world to love our nature. Okay, as we all know, the tapir species is um, endangered. It's an endangered species and it is uh, protected by the wildlife. Okay, if you have any questions about tapir, you can always call Malaysian Nature Society. Okay, let's get back to our tapir. So what we will need would be some so you actually have in this pack, which I actually sell, this pack. Uh, if you want to know further, you can always PM me. And okay, let's check out the first thing that you need to do. Okay, first of all, we need to to look for this tapir shape felt uh, material. So I actually drop the button. So we have one button. Uh, one uh, tapir shaped. Uh, Felt material which I've cut into. There's double, okay. There's two pieces of it. Um, we also need a needle. This needle is very pretty, uh, bigger than the one that you saw, but it's actually uh, can fit in this yarn, okay. What I'm gonna do first is actually to put in the yarn so when you put in the yarn into the the hole of the needle what I normally do I, I would um, fold the yarn and I would press so that when I put it nearer to the hole it gets into so there you go so you have the yarn Okay, the yarn, and I'm going to start. See that the the yarn is actually too long, so I'm going to actually cut it using uh, scissors. I'm cutting it. So at the end of this yarn, we're going to make a knot. Okay, it's easy to make a knot. Children, if you're not sure of, uh, how to make a knot, uh, you always remember the letter Q. Q. So I'm going to make a letter Q and. Q, capital letter Q, letter Q, and there you go. It's a knot. So I'm going to start sewing on this um, tapir felt. And normally, what I would do is I'll, I would start from the head to the legs, and when I reach here, I would put the synthetic cotton into the uh, into the case you can call it casing already because it's already sewn like halfway so that it look like that okay so I'm going to start sewing so this type of sewing there's a name for it uh, it looks like teeth right so you can actually look up for the name, what is the name of the, the type of sewing for this. Um, so, what I would recommend uh, kids to do is actually to take a pencil. Mom, mom and daddy, you can, you can guide your kids to do this. So what you need to do is to take a pencil and create dots along the, along the places where you're going to poke the needle. Okay? So, I'm going to start sewing. 
So always remember that the knot is always placed inside so that it's not being seen. So I'm poking into one side of the felt so that the knot is actually inside the felt material. Okay, can you see that? So it's inside. Next, I would bring it to the other side and poke it here to the other side and what I'm going to do next is to bring this part of the uh, yarn and over cross it over the needle and I'm pulling it so that I get this and I'm going to poke another hole just like that and again I'm going to turn over the yarn so that it gets across the needle so it will look like this and further I will be poking inside and the same thing I'll be doing okay can you see that I think it's one of the easiest uh, stitches that you can find and it's it's quite uh, easy for kids to to do this okay can you see that okay I'm going to show you one more time so I'm going to poke here so we get this here so bring the, the yarn to this side and then I'm going to poke here can you see that okay that is poke there and then uh, I'm bringing this yarn around the needle okay can you see that and all the yarns are right in front in front of you okay then I'm gonna pull it out so I get this design okay this will continuously be sewn along the shape of the the mouth the legs and when you get here you will be putting all the yarns inside the body but first you have to put into the head the two legs and finally you can actually sew the button onto one side of the head and if you like you can stick a heart shape onto the body of the tapir showing that you love tapir and eventually you will get your tapir kids if you're not sure of sewing you can always ask an adult or ask your mom and dad to assist you with this so if you want to get uh, this pack you can order from me this is a tapir kit um, sewing uh, sewing kit tapir sewing kit by Pak Ma Art Studio by me, myself, I'm using, and help us to create awareness about Tapir. So, Tapir is saying goodbye now. Bye-bye.